How to trash your garage in two days. We are rammed. But we've got a midweek video. I'm Colin, this is Shine Automotive, and if you know nothing about this channel, we've got loads of videos already, and consider subscribing. I am a bit of a Fruit Loop. So we've been working on Emily Shields Volvo. We've got a Fiesta XR2 mounted on a TT Quattro. That's our race K that we have. I'm gonna fall over. And the garage is full, it's the weekend, and I'm gonna film my Savan, because it's looking a little bit neglected. So let's go take a look. Somebody has driven down the side of it, and uh, yeah, it's not that nice. It's really annoyed me that. The wheels are filthy, need a good clean. The speakers inside, the car inside is absolutely filthy. I've got dogs. This is what I use it for, but it's a National Sporty fan now. It's 2003. I've had it for 12 years, maybe 10 years. I can't remember. I'd have to have a look. Two engines in it, two clutches in it. The first engine was my fault. The second engine, I don't think, was very good. The roof lining's gone all saggy, and the speakers in the door pockets are rubbish. They've lost all the sound. The back is full of junk. That's meant to have some carpet on it. That's fallen down. So what we're gonna do in this episode is just get cracked on and get it tidied up. And luckily, we've got just the thing for it. Look at my double chin when I'm sat like that. Luckily, oh, no double chin now. It's all about the angle, catfished you. Yeah. Luckily, we've got something that's just gonna help tidy it up. Over here is all the projects and scrap stuff that you probably don't see that often. That's the Turbo K resting well. There's the Renault 25, that's my MX-5. That's the new shunter something hiding there which is very very nice it's coming up shortly sports k that's getting rare little fiesta in there wayne's car transit mark 4 turbo eighty thousand mile on the clock rare as hell and that will be coming up on the channel eventually we've got all these projects that we can get on they've got a, an mr2 there so we've got lots of content to come lots of stuff lots of stuff the busy old spot here right we've got this astra we picked up Oh, probably a couple of months back. We drove it back because we needed the engine. Now it's got a split mint tailgate. I was going to debadge it and everything, but do you know what? I'm going to just put that tailgate on complete because it's split mint and just clean it up. I might take that bumper off and tidy the bumper up because mine's a bit scabby. The wing is really tidy on it. Oh, I thought it was a chip. It's just bird shit. So I'm going to get the wing off, get the bonnet off, swap the grill over, and then we can get them a good polish up. I think one of my doors is a bit rough, so I might swap the doors off while I'm on. I might take the doors off now and do the doors as well. We'll see. It's just, I want to get my van tidied up because it's... It deserves to be tidied up because it was off the road for ages. Then at the start of the year, I did a video. There's a link up above now where we got it back on the road. And I've just used it and abused it. I don't the bonnet. Right, the headlights, the brackets are knackered, right, on both sides. And it's not very secure and they're losing the colour. But what I'm going to try and do is I have a rough set. Oh, I just farted. I've got a, um, a really rough set of lights. But what I'm going to try and do is, is try and do something fancy, a little bit fancy, a little bit different with the lights as well. What else can we do in this episode? Clean the wheels, maybe give the brakes a bit of a tidy up. Get that wing swapped out. There is this door, yeah. Got some dents there. I'm going to take the side skirts off the other one as well. So I've got some spare. I've ground it out there a bit. So we've always got some spare side skirts if we want to paint it up. I might just get this rust knock back off the arch because I do plan on putting some back arches in it. I repaired the section of cylinder there. So both, both rear sills have been done. But that's just getting a bit scabby. And for winter, I might just knock it back in this one. Get some rust cure put on it and maybe just give that a little bit of a paint round. I might not have the, exactly the same colour silver, but it's just going to protect it for winter because I will be using it. Just have to knock it off and see how bad it is, but I think it's going to have to warrant some new arches, but I want to do it before it gets starts coming up through the panel. Because this is pretty good. They do suffer with rot pulling up round the, um, round the filler cap as well. is isn't got any. This side of I think it was painted. It was definitely painted when I got it, and I power washed it not so long back, and I ripped the bloody the paint off there maybe get the drums another coat of red with paint on the drums and i might do something about sorting this bumper out because that bumper there get some new speakers fitted in it yeah and then let's just see how far we get on right so we've got outside the front of the garage because we're gonna have to work outside luckily the weather's all right so i think first thing i'll do is i'll get the front end stripped down and we'll work on doing the front end
Whoa, did you see it? Right, I've got that wing off and what I'm gonna do is just offer it up to make sure it's like, not like a million miles out of silver. Out of silver, out of color. Even though the bonnet's going on, but if it looks bad on the door, if I'm gonna change the door, rather than that, I waffle, waffle, full of waffle. Do waffle. Poor neglected van. Well, it's not neglected, it's a huge van, it's a van, that's what we use it for. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's got its original rubber, rubber donger there as well. So, now. Let's have a look back. Let's check the colour. Yeah, that's a good match. Right, what I'm going to do is jump on to sorting the headlights out because there's a couple of plugs I want to cut off and rewire. So, I'll jump onto that now and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the headlights. If I can find the headlights I want to try and do something with. Oh, it just looks so good. And so does that rear quarter. Yes, boy. So after donkeys all around, I found them. So my headlights, we've got all the things broken, but we've got these. And we bought these for all the plugs. Now I have a pair of headlights you've just seen on the, the time. These have still got the black background, but they're really, really badly tarnished. So what I'm gonna try and do now, because generally they're in really good nick, and you know what they're like, the plastic cowl goes. All the clips, right? And there's the other one. Just to tell you what, it's been a good good salvage yard. Ever had this, everything's corded up, labelled up, right? What I'm gonna have a go at doing, because all these brackets and clips, everything is where it should be. Nah, it's missing a bottom one. First, it's got the top ones, which is the main thing, in all fairness. I could probably glue another bit on there, because the one at the top, so. But what I'm gonna do with these, try with these ones, because they've got the two top clips. I'm gonna sand them down, sand them really down. I'll probably use some 600, then work up to 1500. Then polish them, then clean it back. And what I'm gonna do is the finest coat of a tint spray, right? Just a very, very fine coat of a tint spray and then lacquer over them. Don't know how it's gonna turn out. Look at the thing, it looks dead poorly. I thought there was a, a split in my intercooler. I took that off and that was all right. It wasn't a split. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll sort the, the lights out, the plugs, get the lights back in, get the wing on, get the front valet part back on, and get the front bumper on, and then get the bonnet on. And then that's just ready for a good clean. Don't forget to put your intercooler on, Colin. So doing the Volvo. So another Volvo video coming out this weekend and you'll hear it running. Haha, <laughs> because we left you on the cliffhanger the last one. So yeah. Let's just crack on! Can't believe how nice the weather is today. It's perfect for doing this. Right, let's get on. Thanks for the Right there, done, sanded off. Why I'm waiting for the tint spray to arrive. I should really get on with doing the plugs for the lights. I'm gonna do that straight after. What I'm gonna do is while the weather's good, I am just gonna knock that off with the soft pad and see what happens, see if it falls to bits. It might just drop to bits, I don't know. But I just wanna tidy it up for winter. And then in the summer next year, I'll probably get a new, where I am. Not probably, I don't know why I say probably because I am going to get a new black archery. So I'll just pop the pop side skirt down. There we go. Just drop the clips. Don't want to be losing them clips. Clean the rust off, put some rust gear on it, and then get some doggy on it. <laughs> That's drying on, so let's get on with sorting out the electrics, the lights, the plugs, whatever you want to call them. Right, well that's the plugs sorted for the lights. I've just got to find some plugs that'll match up with these spotlights, for the fog lights, sorry. Because we had to do that, which was a bit bodgy. So I'm just trying to find some that plug in. So I might just have to have a swap around. I work some at his house, so I'll just keep messing around with that. Um, yeah, happy days. Plugs repaired, insulated up, because I'd lost the plugs for the indicators. I think we actually robbed them for Sam's van when we were doing his, before we, we fixed my van up. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Tech products, legends as always.
water on, it is only, only ever so slightly tinted. It just makes them look a bit more fresher. I've looked on Amazon, you can get them for about 60 quid, but I just, at the moment, 60 pound saving for, for an hour's work at the end of the day. I thought the, help me out. The intercooler had a split in it, which it never. And uh, looking down there, I found a gash in my pipe. Found a gash in my pipe, that's the word of the day. I'm gonna see if I've got one of them. Hopefully I have, and get that swapped out. And then that'll make it boost better. The wing's on, replacing all them dents. And the bonnet is on. No, 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 I hope you don't hear this radio. The bonnet's on, it's got a bit of a scratch there, but I think most of it will polish out. It's better than all the rusty stone chips I had on mine. I'm gonna get that polished down, and the wing polished down the rest of it. It'll be pretty good. Right, let's get this grill off and find a boost pipe. What Roland's gonna do now is take the door pocket off because these speakers have just like, they've just had it with age. He'll get the door card off and the speakers off. See if what the door's like if we change it. We need to get the door lock off. The door locks. So you maybe want to try out with that one, I don't know. All right. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. You've got this, haven't you? Yeah. got a issue i cannot find that pipe there to to fix the gas the gas i love that word so i've slid a piece of steel pipe down in there temporary and i'm just going to put a jubilee clip there and a jubilee clip there just to get me around for the time being now roland has got the door pocket off and now he's just taking the speaker off now i got these speakers off amazon got them from the warehouse i'll send you a link down below where you can get these from these have got the crossovers and the tweeters and they're perfect for our application so we've got the old tweeter that's sat behind there we're going to drill it all and mount our new one on the outside like that and then the door speakers jbl door speakers and either said jbc then because and then we won't have a rotten old speaker hopefully they'll work or i've made a boo-boo as normal i think i've got this one right anyway so there's a link down below where you can get the speakers from very nice because if you do we get commission off it and it helps support the build yes yeah, so that was a speaker that was in my door pocket obviously i ripped it a little bit but it's just rotten with age that's why it sounds like it's going <laughs> right so i'll just offer up the other speaker and hopefully it'll fit in the door well just fits in like so i'll um put the rubber donger back in yeah i'll be i'll admit that i uh, made a mistake on the first attempt but um there we go at least i had the astra up the top with them bits to rob one off so there's the first tweeter in happy days i'm happy with it let's see what this looks like go in there that won't cause any issues happy days well, i've got the door handle off as well i haven't got the exact color but i've just got some silver from mpd so I'll just give it a coat of silver now, sanded it down with some 800. Give it a coat with some silver, didn't bother with any primer. So I'm just smoothing off the silver now, and then I'll give it one light coat with the silver, lay it tack off, then another light coat, and then hit it with some lacquer, about three coats of lacquer, over the next stage of half an hour, 40 minutes. So that's very nice, I thought. Oh yeah, I forgot to film this bit, so I'm just working away with it. I've also glued the roof lining up just a little bit, just literally pulled it down and put some spray glue on it just to make it look better for the time being because i'm running out of time and i've got loads to do this week and i think what i'm going to do this week is i'm going to film a week at shine you know uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday what we do see if it goes down well yeah we'll see hmm yeah i think that's all right we'll just hit it with some paint now put some sealer on the lights which is like a paint sealer just gonna leave that on overnight hopefully it won't rain that'll get hardened off and then that'll buff off and that should give a good nice waxy finish on it that was a door handle it was a right mess but i needed to change it for the door lock and i've just literally just pulled the roof lining down from the back i've got to find the clip and just sprayed it it's 
still mucky. I'll have to use a light bit of G1 on the microfiber cloth and just rub around it. But I'm gonna eventually try and get an estate roof lining and try and graft an estate roof lining in all the way. Whether you can do that, I don't know. So I'll be able to just trim it from there, just trim it down and then maybe put some piping along there. I don't know, it's something to do at a later date. So I've got loads to do, still got to put the speakers in, get this door lock. The weather's not looking very good. Still got to edit the video for tomorrow. So yeah, it's mental. Put some primer on there. It's a bit rough there, but I'm just gonna put some doggy in it. Just tidy it up for this winter. And like I said, I'll get some new arches on. So that's well masked up. <laughs> just whatever, whatever we've got around to do. So I will jump into it and I shall get the um, door handle painted up and that can be drying. And then I'll just do something else and then just do something else and just work away at it. That's got each coat of silver, that's done. I'll give it two coats, I'll let that dry off for 20 minutes and then we'll three coats of lacquer. Why that's going off in its crazy day, I'll get on and I'll put the front bumper back on the Esther van and the crash pad. Right, well that's good enough for a Rattlecon job for me. I'm gonna let that dry. Tiny bit of crap in there, but you know, if I run over with a bit of compound, it'll be all right. It'll do the job. Just gotta remember, it's my daily. So I'm gonna go in the office now and get editing that video. So this will keep me going till about two o'clock in the morning or whatever. So yeah, right, that's the wrong way. Right, I'll see you in the morning when we get back on with the Astro van. Might be in the morning, I might leave it till next week. No, I can't, it's stuck outside the garage. We've got to be home for Monday. Waffle! Oh God almighty, it is the final push to get everything done so we can get back on with our normal work come Monday. And I've still got the van in the garage doorway. I'm tired. I was up late last night editing the video. Right, I'm gonna ma mix a bit of fiberglass in there and a little scoop and then just sand the fiberglass down, prime it and then chuck some paint on there. Has to be done. It'll still be all right. Good morning, mate. Morning, Dad. While the fiberglass is drying, I'll get the this door built back up together and get the speaker in and then get the door pocket off the other side. I'll keep working in between then and then I'll try and get the back tidied out and try and get the back tailgate on. We'll see. It's a big ask. I thought I'd do it all in one day, but loads of people were dropping in and out to see to see stuff and booked a few jobs in and sold a couple of cars. So has to be done. Get on. First thing I want to brew. Right, that's the fiberglass sort of just chucked on. Like I said, I've probably said it 15 times. Remember, this is just to get it through winter. This is my daily and it's not a show car. But I still want it to look tidy. Just, it's old, isn't it? 2003, bloody hell, look at the size of that bloody thing. Ooh, if Sam was here, he'd be screaming. Shall I eat it? Hum. <laughs> it's a big boy. Big boy, <laughs> big boy body filler. Fiberglass is drying, so I'm gonna jump on and do the door handle next. So I'll set the tripod up and stick the time lapse on because I forgot to do it with the, um, the back art. I'm tired. I was up till midnight. At least the video was done earlier, which is, makes a change. It was done at midnight and it was uploaded. It's all ready to go. So I definitely think I'll get Wednesday's video done, which is this one. So I'll stop talking rubbish. Sit down. Four. Four. Thank you. Gently. Gently. Right, go. From that, he set up with that tweeter, is mint. You like it, Ellie? I have tunes again, not wet farts. Right, so I'll jump in. I won't bother sticking it on a time lapse for that side. I think it's a bit boring. I'll stick it on a time lapse when I do the back arch. So I'll jump in and get that door pocket off and get that set up and get these in the trash, in the trash, man.
happened. Got yeah, carried still, away watching the F1. The, the time lapse had stopped. To me, like he held the Mercedes. I put some more fiberglass on there, a little bit of filler, and I've also jumped in and painted that because I can and I feel like it. And I'm making the most use of this weather before it starts getting miserable. I'm in a t-shirt. Uh, yes, man. Uh, right. A um, bit of lacquer on there. The and then that's lap, very nice. You did there, or did you just kind of move to one side uh, before the corner came along? If that's the rules of the blue flags, there's another argument in my mind that says that's exactly what you get. If you didn't have blue flags, it's probably more exciting. Which could have happened if there was just back out there. Just got a bit too close for comfort, I'm yeah. sure. The primer's taken ages to dry, so I thought I'd give the car a wash down. So I'm just going to try and dry this area and get the paint done because I need to be stopped by five o'clock because to get tidied up and sorted out for tomorrow. And I needed to get the inside done, so I might just push on till six o'clock. So let's try and get the inside spooked off a bit, spammed off a bit, then we can just have a walk around and end the video. It's just getting the arch done in time. The door handles to say they're just a normal generic. Where's the silver? It's not a colour match paint at all. It was just that wheel silver. And I'm shocked because normally you can get the right colour match and it's a pig. And that ain't too bad today. Do these side strips and redo the other side skirts because the brackets and that need sort. And this has been bottomed out and it's got a crack there. But I'll jump in and get this dried off and try and get some colour on it. I don't know what I'm stuck in, I've just put over there. It's 
foam edge in it so you don't get a solid edge. Now painters either, that's like Marmite painters, you either love it or hate it. For this little application on my daily that I'm just tidying up to make look better for winter instead of the arch just falling out, it's perfect. I don't even think I'm gonna put some brown paper on it. I think that'd be fine. We're just working away. I've got a polish round there afterwards anyway, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'll see what we're like for time because it is running on now. Let's just get some colour on it and hope that now it goes wrong. Well, the back's tidied up enough. I would have liked to have got the bumper sorted out, but I ain't got time in this one. Just tidied it up loads. I've glued it to the back of the seat. That's why I want to lift that up. I'm just going to trim around the edge of the seat for the, the rear seats. But yeah, got all that side glued back up. That is loads better. Just waiting for the second coat of lacquer to dry. And that's looking, looking all right for a rattle can that probably isn't the right colour. Well, it isn't the right colour. It's that wheel silver. But it ain't going to look gonna look better than a big rotten blob. What do you say, Ellie? I don't care, I just wanna go home. Well, I don't think that's bad. Let it dry, you see this white line up here? I've gotta let the fully cure, and then I've just gotta run the machine polish around there, cause that'll just shine up where a knock back. But that's right enough, I'm happy with that. At the end of the day, like I said, rattle cam just tidies it up, doesn't it? Maybe it look loads better. Right, I'm losing light and I've got all this to tidy up. Look, I've just absolutely trashed the place. That arch looks loads better and is blended in fine for a rattle can. I'm happy with that. I would have liked to have got polished up. I would have liked to have done the sills, the rear bumper, them strips, but there we go. Got all the lights sorted out. They're loads better. It's all washed up. All the wheels are clean. I've just got the wheels to tire black. Inside has literally just had a quick clean out and over down because I'm gonna use it. It's still a cool old girl for uh, the 2003. Got that door handle painted up. Got the speakers inside done. Didn't get the tailgate done because I need two of us, but I really want to get that tailgate swapped out. You can't really see it, but it's covered. It's covered in dents and ripples, but you can't really see it at all. Got the inside tidied up, painted them wheel wells just to make it look a bit better than being silver and we've got scratches on. So yeah, there's another Astra update video because I know a couple of you have been asking come and see some more Astra content so I've done a Saturday and Sunday Astra content for you and moving on this is a couple of days later the police literally pulled me and did me for me incorrect spacing I've had W8X on for years and then a space and then US for waxes so I'm going to put that plate up for sale if anyone's interested and want to buy that plate our local policeman that's new to the area is attacking everyone for incorrect spacing on number plates bugger I blended this in with a rattle can. That bit that was bad. If you look gently, you can just see a fade mark there. So I just sanded it back, flicked a bit of silver in, and then flicked a load of lacquer around and machine polished it in. I flicked, literally chucked some paint straight over all that chips. Got some bits for the XRTT. I went and did a test day. So I polished where the old badge was that somebody nicked and I put one of our Let's Crack On stickers on which you can buy them in the link down below and you can buy them in. I'll go and start editing it now and I've just added that bit in. So this is meant to be going out Wednesday but it's probably going to be Thursday when you're watching it. And if you've got this far into the end of the video, the first five people to comment, we love shine, I'll send you a free shine sticker out. Oh, can't I just click my hands and it all be put away. It doesn't work. Right, see ya.